Good morning, guys. It is the first day of December, which means Vlogmas has started. Yay! I'm so excited. I feel like I'm excited to film it, but I'm really excited to watch everybody's Vlogmas. It's like my favorite thing. So, I am on my way to do lots of grocery shopping, Christmas shopping, all that jazz, and to be a bit of a chocolate fairy this morning and take Elena her chocolate advent calendar from Trader Joe's. So, I am super excited to do all of that. I've already said in the last couple of videos that I don't feel like I'm going to vlog every single day or at least it'll probably be a collective of a couple of days at a time just because I feel like my life might be a smidge boring if I vlogged it every day for you guys. Like I don't do enough in the out in the world that's not behind my computer. Like I spent the last three days fighting WordPress. Shout out to Blair for fixing everything. I love you from the bottom of my heart. So I know I'm gonna bake this weekend. I know that I'm gonna go shopping today. I have lots and bits of pieces. And as I put gifts together, I will show you guys that. But yeah, I'm super excited. So let's get on our way. This lighting makes me look really bad. All right, so I'm back home. I've been home for like an hour or so maybe. Um, probably an hour and a half. I got home, had to unload the car, make dinner. Um, get everything there and I just finished eating so I have a few minutes I'm gonna have to run an errand really quickly but I wanted to show you what I got it was a bit more of a bust than I thought it would be there were like some really great wins and then okay so I had some really good finds but I went to anthropology and J crew and walked out with nothing J crew that particular one I guess that they didn't get inventory in maybe since their Black Friday sale. I've never seen a store look so like sparse. There was just not a lot of options and not a lot to look at. And even if you did see something, finding your size was really not available. So that was that was a bit of a bust. And I was a bit more sad about that. <sighs> Sorry, I need my water. Um, a bit more sad about that because I had reward money there and I was actually gonna spend money. So I'm going to go online instead. Um I thought about just buying more jeans because all of my jeans are from there, but it didn't seem worth it. So I'll go online and look. Um, I promise you, not this red in real life. Okay, so, but I did do, I did, I went to Target, I went to Whole Foods, I went to Sephora, I went to Victoria's Secret, um, I went to Pottery Barn. So the first thing I'm gonna show you is actually not from today I figured I'd show you guys my Black Friday packages as they come in and yeah so I normally buy movies on Black Friday that's kind of our thing um I also did some online shopping today I'll show you guys that as it comes in but I normally buy movies on Black Friday and then this year what I did with that is I went whenever when all of the like sales opened I actually just bought everything online and I went like I pulled up Walmart I pulled up Best Buy I pulled up Target and I compared prices because I keep a running list throughout the year of any of the movies that we want to add to our library that's just like our thing we build a library of movies we're really into movies so I've already gotten quite a few in but these are the ones that I got from Best Buy and I think this is the rest of my order I'd have to check my Slice app, which by the way, if you aren't using Slice, it's kind of the best thing ever. If you online shop a lot, it's really great. I do online shop a lot and it'll import everything and tell you, you can't really see it there, but it'll tell you if things are shipped, when you can expect something, um, especially if you get like online receipts. So say you shop in store and you know, the receipt gets sent to your email, but the options available, like they can see it online. They'll also help you out with knowing what a price drops. So that's really great. I think if I'm correct, that might've been just that one item. So in this little movie batch, I got The Dressmaker. If you haven't seen this movie, it's fabulous and freaking hilarious. And it's so good. I love this movie. We rented it a while back. I think it's actually on Amazon Prime right now if you have Prime movies. Um. Deepwater Horizon. I got that. I've seen all of these. This is really good. I really like it. I think I might actually watch it again tonight. The first Kingsman Secret Service. Uh, Penelope because I love this movie and I don't own it. It's been on my list for like an eternity. Wonder Woman. 
and Guardians of the Galaxy. And I think most of these that, if I can get them Blu-ray and like a digital copy, I try to. That way when I travel, I have, like I can just download stuff and take it with me. All right, so from Target, I got a microwave. It's a very exciting day. But I had 20% off coupon from Black Friday. So I also got a mini tree topper, which the Christmas tree is right behind you right now. So we'll put that on later. And some washi tape, which I'm probably saying that completely wrong. But I think this is really cute. I wanted some options. This one's the red one. It's not really focusing. But there's a red one, a gold glitter one, a green one, and then a Merry Christmas one. So I figured I'd use this in my bullet journal which you are currently sitting on top of and then I also got some shower and shave cream um I normally use the EOS one and I really like it I just don't like the packaging on it which one of these days during vlogmas I was going to do a whole um bit of disappointing products and I'll kind of walk you through it because I have a bit in there that I keep them but like I love I just I love the product I hate the packaging on it like you could do better packaging because then it gets to the bottom I'm like digging out shaving cream so I like the idea of this packaging so I thought I would try it um that's honestly what sold me on this was the packaging so in the sense of it looks like it's functional packaging um the next place I went to is Sephora let me move this stuff out of my lap and I'm going to open this and there's a Christmas present in here for one of my friends. So Kendall, if you're watching, skip ahead like 15 seconds, 20 seconds, 30 seconds maybe. So the first little bit is from, this is part of one of the, I'm doing a little like spa skincare Christmas gift for one of my best friends who's getting married. Um, you guys have heard me talk about the belief like eye cream so there's a little travel size in there but there's also just a few bits and stuff that she can try from the line stuff that i've tried and liked so i thought i would sign that for her and then i got if you saw yesterday's post on so today's friday so yesterday's post were gifts under 50 dollars, and i talked about this palette as one of the gifts and i really I told myself today that if I saw it and it was in store, I would get it because it's the Huda, Huda Beauty, um, the mini palettes. This is the mauve one. Now I have wanted these colors for forever, but I didn't want to pay the money for the giant palettes. So I was so glad I saw these first on Cult Beauty and then I was just glad that we finally got them. Um, and so I got one of those, which worked out really well because when I went to check out today I recently like had spent enough to bump up to the IB um, which Sephora has their little reward program and the IB gets you like I had 10% off discount so I took it with me because I wanted to see if it would work because I knew I was going to go in and they were like oh well you can't like the guy was like Could you, can you combine this with the $20 off and I was like thinking what do you mean $20 off and so Apparently there's some VIB thing going on and if you spent $50 you got $20 off. So I was planning on buying this last bit anyways which will be Friday's giveaway so I'm not going to show you but it is a very exciting little bit. Um, I was already planning on buying that and this and this. This was like I walked in and I said if these three things are here these are the three things I'm going to get. But I essentially got this one for free so that was really exciting. Thank you Sephora. So. I'm gonna set that all aside. I'm super excited to use this palette. I really have been wanting, um, I've been looking at so many palettes and I've kind of wanted the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. I still really want that palette actually, but I really like this color in here and then that color. Oh, it's not gonna focus. Um, hold on just a second. This isn't going like I planned. Okay. Sorry about that. Second time I've had to pause. First time because the TV in the other room is really loud. So when the dogs come in and the door stays open, then you can't hear anything. So I have to shut it and keep them out. Um, at least right now. And then the second time was because my mom thought my stepdad was gonna fall and I had to go and be on the other side of the house. So here we are. Also, I had to take her to work. So I have no idea what I was talking about before. 
other than I'm very excited about this little palette. You'll probably see me use it a lot. I've really wanted these colors and I just didn't want to pay for the big one. So this is definitely a more affordable compromise and I'm very, very, very excited about it. And I also watched um, Tati's Hot or Not on this. I think there's four that came out that are like this size yesterday, but I watched it Hot or Not yesterday and that was kind of my like solidifier for purchasing that. Um, okay, before Sephora though, I did go to Victoria's Secret and I'm like really dark, sorry guys. And what I got was quite random. Um, side note, I did ask them to give me, I'm dropping things all over the place. I asked them to give me gift boxes a lot of the places I went today have gift boxes. So if you know that you're gonna be giving presents and you need a gift box, or maybe you're buying something for yourself but you still know that you could use that like say so gift box or something, just ask for a gift box. It's such a cheap way to get gift boxes. So they gave me two, I asked for them, and we actually reuse these. Um, they used to come with like a little ribbon around them, but they don't anymore. So what I got from Victoria's Secret is actually all pretty much Christmas gifts for mom. For myself, I got this little sports bra. I wanted to try it out. It has padding in the front. I found that some of their pad like bras don't have the padding in the front. And that's a struggle. But this one was cute and it has the little like banded stuff in the front of it. So I wanted to try it. I think I actually went to purchase these online the other day and didn't do that. But I had $30 in reward. So... I figured that would kind of cover my bra purchase and I could try it out and then if I liked it I could invest in more but I wanted to try the style first and then I got some stuff from mom's Christmas gifts so I got her this little uh, makeup bag I recently got a bag from them I was gonna see if it was nearby it's clear and I really because I really liked it and I thought about getting her one of those but then this one has like the two zip compartment and it's leopard print and she likes leopard print so I thought I would get her that and then she was talking about we normally buy pajamas every year pajamas pjs or whatever you want to call it from Victoria's Secret and she was talking about flannel pjs the other day and how she wanted some so I got her a pair of those and then if you don't know normally in the last couple of years they've always come with a sleep mask and I swear to god I have like 50 sleep masks um it's been ridiculous because every pj set that i've gotten in the last however many years had them and i had to like i re-upped all my pajamas last year because they were just really old really raggedy i just needed new ones or i needed lighter ones because it's 74 degrees in december in florida so anyways these now come with the little free slippers so i got the red ones i don't know if she'll use them or if these will end up getting gifted to somebody else but that's obviously a good little free gift to have on hand or to give to somebody else because these are $30 but they're free with the purchase of the pajamas so that is what I got from Victoria's Secret and then last little bit let me put this all back in the bag real quick the last little bit that I got was from Pottery Barn and it actually wasn't anything I'm dumping chips in my lap over here um I went in and I thought, I went into a lot of places today with a very like distinct, if I see this, I will get this. Sometimes I do that, sometimes I'm like, eh, whatevs. But uh, quite a few of the places I went into today had like random discounts and that kind of made me shop a little bit more or just prompted me to buy stuff. So I got another mug because I like to have festive mugs. So I got the little S mug from Pottery Barn. It was 20% off. And yeah, I like it because it's got the little gold rim on it and it's got the S on it. I actually really, I have this mug from Anthropology. I want to say I bought it or one of my college roommates bought it for me. Little teacup, I've had it for several years and I finally chipped it. So like I had my own little like Beauty and the Beast style chip. But for the last couple of years, they've made, they've still made them. And my mom's always been like, you should get more. You should get a full set. You should do whatever. And I haven't done it. And I finally chipped it. And like in the last six months, they don't put them out anymore. So I will probably try to find another mug that's in that style. Because it's the perfect little cute latte mug. I'll put it on the screen now. Um, I've taken loads of photos with this mug. So now it's chipped. And I can't do that. I always need new picture mugs. So that is where I'm at. It is Friday night. Woohoo! Vlogmas day one. I am 
mentally all over the place right now. I have stuff all over the floor. I don't even know what to do. Um, I did get some things from Whole Foods that I'll show you. I got some more Siete chips because I'm going to do a couple of recipes for the vlog coming up for the month. Just simple things that you guys can make and take wherever that are healthy options and that aren't difficult to make. Oh, we went fuzzy. Hi. Hello, camera. Focus. There we go. Um, I'm going to do that. One of them is this spinach and artichoke dip. That's coming your way. But I also am obsessed with this lime mint elderflower sparkling water from Whole Foods. And it's the only place you can get it. And I bought like four bottles of it today. So drinking that Friday night, I'm going to take a little bit of time and catch up on email and anything that I missed today while I was out because I pretty much have been gone all day. And then I'm going to watch the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. premiere tonight because I'm really excited about it. They put the first 17 minutes online and it was all about... Um, they're in space now. So I was excited to see that. I also, I guess I feel like I should talk you through what I got on Amazon today because you'll see it, but I figure if I'm going to do my shopping here, I should tell you what I ordered. So I ordered on Amazon. I got another thing of nut pods because I'm pretty much almost out. And then I got a new bullet journal. The one that I have is blue. Good morning guys, welcome to Saturday. So it's uh, almost 8 a.m. I was up like, I've been up for like maybe almost an hour. I had to pick mom up from work from the hospital this morning. So I have been slowly trying to wake up. I had my lemon water, I had my probiotic, and I have come and sat back down on my bed and I'm going to watch a little bit and enjoy my coffee this morning and hang out with this little guy who is staring at himself in the mirror again. Bear, do you wanna say hi? Hello, good morning, handsome. So yeah, I am going to do that, enjoy my coffee, and then maybe do, I wanna get my yoga in this morning, which is why I went ahead and threw this on, because I didn't do it yesterday, and I know I'll feel better if I do. And yes, and some cleaning. I have a list of things to do, so I'm probably gonna go grab my bullet journal and kinda organize myself for the morning. Um, I feel a little bit less frantic these days when I take the time to like sit down and write out and be able to see this is what I need to do and I can kind of prioritize from there. So then I bop in and out of things less, which makes it more stressful and then I just feel like I don't get anything done. So yes, welcome to Vlogmas Day 2. It is officially time for breakfast and bed. This waffle mix is this paleo mix I found at Whole Foods a couple weeks ago. I have a slice of turkey bacon. Um, I bought the regular and the pumpkin spice yesterday, but because of my cinnamon sensitivity, I didn't want to make the pumpkin spice for myself. So I made both. I was going to try it, but I gave it to mom. And to be honest, I have a feeling I'm all like, probably going to only eat half of this, but breakfast in bed. Okay, so I finally got ready. It's taking me probably a really long time. Um, I did, I wrapped a bunch of presents, which you can see right here. We haven't put our tree up yet, so I've kind of like stacked them down there. I still haven't dealt with this pile of clothes, but I did that. And then I used the new Huda palette. It's actually, um, that palette is on all, everything that I used on my eyes, with the exception of liner and mascara. And then the lips, um, or from the mini lip duo that I had. If I can, I'll look, if I can remember, I'll find it and put it in the description box below. But I had forever in a day to get dressed. I couldn't decide what I wanted to wear. I tried on like five things just because I did so much with this eye look that I feel like whatever I'm wearing right now needs to be really simple because it's, you know, day time. So I had a lot of fun playing with that and then I did my hair and I'm trying to figure out how to really utilize this way wave spray that i was given by lauren for my birthday and i was watching some kaylee Melissa videos and she threw it into her hair dry after some texture spray so i'm not really loving today's hair look but i showered and i thrown it up and then it just gets humid in my room afterwards and yeah so that is the sequence of what is happening right now i am going to Check in and see what else I need to do. And then I'm going to run some errands. I need to go to the bank. I need to go to Sam's. I want to go to Home Goods. So I'm going to take you guys along for what I can and show you what all I find today. So 
day two of shopping. So we just got home. I ended up only going to Sam's. I don't know why I'm suddenly really tired. I think it's because I had too much sugar for breakfast and I'm not like balanced out for the day. So I did get some groceries, but I actually got two books. So I thought I'd show you those. And this one is called Victoria. It's by Daisy Goodwin. And I think it's almost like a fictional take on Queen Victoria. So that is something I am excited to read. I love like British history. I actually did my thesis in college on a piece of British literature. So that's kind of one of my hobbies or things that I really like to read. And then I also got this um, rupee. I don't think I'm saying that right. Cars new book. It's been out for a little while. I've seen it around. I have the other one and I saw this one at Sam's and it was a good deal. So I think I might online shop and I'll show you if I do that instead. I just, there were so many people at Sam's that I couldn't even begin to want to try to fight my way through home goods because that just seemed like it was going to be crazy. So I'll probably go there Monday or maybe tomorrow, but right now on a Saturday, it just was not my idea of a fun time. So now I'm going to go make lunch because it's 3.30 and I haven't eaten that yet so I feel like it'll give my energy back up a little bit. I think I'm going to do salmon and a kale salad because that just sounds very easy and what I want right now. So I will show you the process of that in just a few minutes. Alright guys, salmon is happening over here. I just sprayed it with olive oil, coated it with some salt and pepper. I'm checking the temperature right now. We want it to be 145. We're going to take it off at like 140 and let it rest and then it will cook the rest of the way internally. And then we have kale, which I like to take a bundle of kale, um, maybe once a week or so, and take the time to like massage it with olive oil, salt, pepper, and lemon. So I did an entire bundle, one lemon, salt, and pepper, and then you kind of, you want it to like break down a little bit so that it's not so tough. If you ever get kale from like a salad line, you know, where you would get like spinach, lettuce, whatever, that kale isn't massaged and you tend to, it tends to be not as good. So, tips for salads if you can massage your kale. So I'm waiting on my salmon to cook. It is taking forever because these pieces are huge. And then I'm going to go sit and maybe watch TV. So I just came back into my room to go to the bathroom and let me shut that so that noise isn't so loud. Um, I feel like in the spirit of my honesty and in growing and in just sharing, um, that I would kind of update you guys on some stuff. So I sat down earlier and made all of my, uh, supplement stuff for the week and I'll talk you through that in a second. But this entire, like the whole reason that I started this channel was to share all of my adventures with you guys but I've also really just been wanting to share the journey of my health and one of the things like the two my two main goals if you've been watching you'll know is that I want to heal my teeth and that I want to heal my hormonal acne my acne is doing fairly well I have a breakout right here currently and like one right here um, but nothing crazy. And if my makeup is kind of messed up, it's because I've been cry laughing at the bloopers from Wonder Woman. So funny. Um, but I've also, the biggest thing is healing my teeth. And I feel like that's almost even more challenging than healing my acne. Um, and I started that journey in, I guess, August. And I feel like I've been making gradual changes, but I feel like I really need to take the step forward and just kind of get, draw myself that line in the sand of this is what I'm going to do and this is I'm not going to give myself that wiggle room because it's just that important to me and I've been feeling really discouraged by it lately and feeling like I'm not getting where I want to go and thinking that I'm not even going to be able to do this by myself and I'm going to have to end up going back to the dentist to get all of these feelings that I don't want to get um and so at the end of the day, I feel like I don't want to be, like, I want to be able to say that I did every single thing that I could, you know, and if I can even begin to say, well, I could have done that better, that's not going to be good enough for me. So that really means cutting back on the starchy foods, you know, making sure that I'm not getting any sugar, like, 
you know, really kind of drawing that line for myself. And if I have any kind of like sweetness in something, making sure that I'm like aware of it and maybe brushing my teeth afterwards. Like I just, I felt really discouraged by it. And, but I also, you know, I kind of was sitting there thinking, I'm not going to vlog any of this. I'm not going to talk about it. I'm just going to keep it happy and light. But I also, because it's the time of the year and my lipstick is pretty much gone. But I also, you know, I want to be able to kind of point back to this at some point, you know, for those of you who may choose to go on this journey yourself and be able to say, look, there were days where I felt terrible about it. I felt like I wasn't doing enough. And, you know, I feel like I could do better um, because I can say that, because I can say I feel like there are things that I could do better, that I'm not being perfect with it. I feel like I need to try harder. So that is my kind of update there as far as supplements go. So I'm gonna walk you through everything that's laying on the bed next to me. I just filled up a little while ago my weekly set. So I got this off of Amazon. I actually have two of them because the first one, this little bit came up and it was broken. Um, so I messaged their customer service and they sent me another one, which is great because I misplaced one of the days in here and I don't know where it is actually. Maybe it's back there, maybe I just saw it. Um, but I just pulled that out. But I got this so that it would be really compact when I travel. I can fit everything, well, almost everything in here. I take a probiotic first thing every morning that is in the fridge. I normally take that with a glass of warm lemon water. That's how I start my day, get my gut going. And then I also take cod liver oil. That is in the fridge. That stays in the fridge. That is a form of fat soluble vitamin A and vitamin D. However, I also take this vitamin D. Um, I take both partially because I'm a lot better at taking these than I am at taking my cod liver oil because it's in the fridge and so I'll forget. But with this, I remember to do it. So pause just a second. My battery's about to die. Okay, so glad that I bought a second battery. So I take the vitamin D every day because in this form because I feel like I have a tendency to accidentally forget to take the other one. So that's something I need to be better about. That's one thing. I feel like I could do, and I'll talk about everything in the end, I guess, after this, of what I could do better. Um, I take MSM, 1500 milligrams is how much is in this thing. This is a giant one. I, my mom and I both take this. So for now, I just kind of use hers. Everything else, the vitamin D we share as well. Um, and she'll take some of my other stuff too. But this is good for your connective tissue and your healthy cartilage. So I really wanna promote as much like aiding and as much health as I can in my body. MSM is really good for that. Um, I wanna say that it's Oskia's like skincare line that if you listen to any of the interviews with her, the founder of that or any of her stuff, she talks about how MSM has completely transformed her life. So I definitely want to do that. want to make sure that I'm promoting healthy cartilage, healthy skin, all that jazz. I also take, and I just take the prescribed amount on these. So the serving size is one soft gel of that and then two tablets of the MSM. And then I also take Seraphos. Cerif that's how you say it. So it supports your adaptogen and your adrenal support. This is supposed to help with cortisol levels. Um, I take one of these a day. Just that was one of the things that I researched in figuring out what my levels were to heal my hormonal acne. Um, so I started taking that. I don't know if I'll keep taking that, but I haven't refilled the bottle and there's a hundred capsules in it. I take one a day. So I'll probably finish using that. And then I also take collagen because I'm not having my smoothies right now and since I'm not having like loads of smoothies right now I haven't been putting my bone broth powder in so I try to make sure I take the I try to have a base of stuff that I'm taking every day that if I if I accidentally forget something or I'm slacking somewhere else I'm still covered so I take these I take six of them I got them on Amazon there if you're in like if you're not a good pill taker if that makes sense like if you're not really good at that these are big and there's a lot of them so I don't know that they'll be for everybody but I take these I want I mean obviously 
It revitalizes skin, hair, nails, replenishes collagen, supports ligaments and tendons, boosts dietary protein. I just really want to give my body the chance um, to heal as much as possible. And then the one key thing that I've been taking, specifically started taking for my hormonal acne, is L-lysine. Now, I've always taken L-lysine, but just not regularly, if that makes sense. Um, this is what, whenever we get cold sores or fever blisters as a kid, this is what I would take. So I always, ha always had a bottle of it around, um, but that helps naturally heal that. So I watched a video a couple months ago about somebody talking about um, how she healed hers and how she healed her acne in general and... She's plant based and she talks about a couple of things, but one things that she one of the things that she mentions is that the the science behind it is that L lysine has a tendency to kind of regulate testosterone levels. So I believe that's kind of how that goes. It's a lot more scientific and a lot more intense than that. But because of that, I kind of almost treat this as my like like I've taken birth control for so long, so I kind of think this is what I think of in my mind. Like, I have to, like, I would, like, you would think, oh, I have to take my birth control every day. Now I think, oh, I have to take my LIC every day. So, the recommended dosage for this is two tablets. One, one capsule, 500 milligrams. I normally take between 1,000 and 1,500 because right now I just really wanted to, like, that's my choice. But that's just because I am was really trying to heal my hormonal acne and kind of regulate my levels and I feel I honestly feel like that has been a huge factor along with just getting my blood sugar levels kind of in check that's one of the other things is that I was taking something that was kind of helping with that but with my diet now with the exception of like this morning it's normally pretty consistent and I normally don't feel those energy slumps um, I talked about that in my Plant Paradox update, but that like when I traveled, I was eating a lot of junk and I was eating more sugar and chocolateiness, and then I was feeling those energy slumps. So that's kind of one of the things that I feel like I could do a lot better with as far as healing my teeth is to stick to more water-based stuff. Um, you know, really making sure that I'm minimizing on the sugar, minimizing on the starches, and that I'm really kind of following the best of the best of what they say you should eat for that. Because honestly that like it's been stressing me out so much. And I know that the stress isn't helping. And then it's creating this like sensation where I'm like, Are, do my teeth hurt? Do I think my teeth hurt? Like it's all in my head. And it's really starting to mess with me. So I feel like I just have to get to that place where I can kind of accept this is what I'm doing and this is the best that I can do and I'm going to do all these things and you know if they don't work by a certain point then um you know it's a bigger issue but I also kind of have to look at the fact that like you know there are other people who've done this before so I kind of want to keep that in mind and just go back to like if I feel like I'm hungry or if I feel like I'm thirsty or if whatever taking the time to stop and acknowledge having that mindfulness which I feel like I should always have with food but like really having that mindfulness to say okay what is the best choice that I can make right now as far as eating so I'm dealing with that right now it's really a big head game for me it's really been stressing me out so I don't want to like I don't want to downplay it I don't want to feel like I don't want anybody to think because I feel like it doesn't help you if you end up watching this later whoever you are hello um to think oh well she did it all and didn't talk about it or it wasn't hard for her because it's it's been it's definitely a bit of a mind game for me and in the comparison game or just feeling like things aren't changing like I want them to and so kind of having to really go back to the drawing board and say all right well what are you doing that you shouldn't be doing or what could you be doing better um and there are certain things that I really don't want to have to do like I also don't think that I really could do very well and that's eat dairy and I just don't think that my body would agree with that based on past experience based on where we got like the point I got to before I cut dairy out I just don't think that that's something I can handle so I've made a lot of other choices I think that I just have to really kind of put myself in line with certain things and that gray area that I was giving myself now I just have to be like no that's not gonna work you can't make that choice right now that's not going to benefit you because that's one of the things that I feel like 
this is getting really ranty, but people who make big health changes or have these transformations, it's a lot of the times because they get to these points where, you know, it, it affects their health. So that is my rantiness. I don't know that I'm going to do anything else crazy tonight. So I think on that lovely, lovely note, I'm going to end my vlog for the first two days of vlogmas. I hope that I wake up in a happier mood tomorrow. I'm sorry guys if this has been moderately boring. I'm going to try to be a little more exciting with it, give you some more gift ideas, but at the same time I'm going to be very real and this is who I am and this is my life and yeah I mean I'm here and I want to help you guys and I want to do the best that I can but I honestly need to be making better choices and I will be 100% upfront about that today. Things I do love today, my makeup turned out really well. I've been loving this highlighter. I finally got the RMS Luminizer and it's been fabulous. Uh, I really like this eyeshadow palette. I think it makes my blue eyes pop. Yeah, happy, happy times. So I'm going to go. I will see you in the morning, but you will be seeing this video on Sunday night. I believe that the post that's going up today is either gonna be, and by today I mean Sunday, is either going to be what's on my Christmas wish list or gifts that you can shop that support a good cause. So one of those two will be up and if not, you'll see it later in the week. So I love you guys, you matter to me. I'm so glad that you're here. I hope you're all having a wonderful beginning to your December and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye guys.